In this video, we'll explore how you can build an AI-powered tool to help you make better presentations. Let's go. Hey folks, welcome to Build with Google AI, where we explore how you can build practical solutions with Google AI technology. Slide presentations are a great tool for communication. A picture really can be worth a thousand words when you're trying to get an idea across. And a slide deck is a great way to organize your thoughts on what you want to say and how you want to say it. Of course, most of us are not perfect at building presentations and could use a little help. So one of my colleagues on the Google Workspace team thought we could apply AI to this problem and created an AI-powered slide reviewer to help you get your message pitch perfect. It's a great solution for those of us who occasionally wait to hear the last minute to prepare for our, I'm sorry, what? They want the slides when? Um, I'll, I'll be right back. Whew. Okay, uh, here's a quick demo of the Slides Advisor project. The project runs as an add-on for Google Slides and uses the Gemini Pro Vision model to review your presentation against a set of guidelines. Once you've loaded the project add-on, you can select it from the right side toolbar. To run a review, select a slide and click the Evaluate Slide button. Behind the scenes, the add-on takes a snapshot and sends an image of the slide and review instructions to the Gemini Pro Vision model. The review results show up in this sidebar, so you can refer to them as you update your presentation. The cool thing about this project is that you can change how the Gemini model evaluates your slides based on guidelines you define. I'll get to that a little later in the video, but right now, let's talk to the builder of Slides Advisor. All right, I'm joined today by the key developer for Slides Advisor project and a member of the Google Workspace Developer Relations team, Stephen Basil. Steve is coming to us from Boulder, Colorado. Thanks for being part of this. Hi, Joe. Thanks for having me. Uh, happy to be here. So this project started out as an experiment that I was working on, uh, and then you actually took it in and I built out the, the add-on. But my question is this, was it worth it? Is AI actually going to help you build better presentations? Yeah, it really was. Honestly, I was a little skeptical at first, but once I started playing around with it and building the add-on, I found that the AI model was surprisingly capable at giving useful feedback on slides. And it didn't require a huge amount of effort in terms of prompt engineering or uh, playing around with the input. Uh, definitely learned a lot as part of the process. Um, a few things that come to mind uh, that I think are worth you know, really interesting and worth sharing are um, let's see, there is the uh, limitation on the, the input uh, in terms of number of images. Uh, the original idea was sort of just throw everything in one big prompt and analyze the entire presentation. Um, but practically that doesn't work. Um, so it required thinking about how to approach it a little bit and breaking up the problem into uh, doing it on a slide by slide basis. And it turned out that that actually gave better results than trying to do it all in one big bite. Um, you know, and that is, you know, just, I think, a general lesson with working with these models that they all have some limitation on the amount of input. So it does require thinking about how to approach problems before you kind of get too deep into the weeds of building things. But, um, but it's a really powerful tool. Uh, and a few other things, the uh, I found, found like playing with the creativity setting or rather the temperature really helped. Uh, being a little, you know, doing too conservative tend to give the same answers over and over, but giving it a little bit more room to vary the response made it feel a little bit more interactive. Uh, and likewise with the examples, I, I remember playing with uh, giving an example of the output and it sort of overfit a little bit too much, but once I gave it a little bit more room to vary the response and, and didn't uh, over prompt it and the, the results were kind of mind boggling that it was able to take all this data and give reasonable results. Um, and kind of the, the, the final thing and like kind of the fun part of all this is really just the experimentation of it. Once, once the pieces are put together, there's just so much room to play around with the prompts and different strategies. Uh, and I, you know, I had a blast doing it. Okay. So next question, how does slide advisor actually work? So the advisor is built as a Google Workspace add-on in AppScript, which I just chose because it's a really easy way to get started with add-ons um, and very approachable for anyone who knows App, uh, JavaScript. 
Underneath the covers, what it does is for any slide that you're evaluating, it uses the slides API to grab the thumbnail and the speaker notes, and then it combines that with a prompt. And that prompt uh, basically just gives it the guidelines for what type of information it's checking. Um, and it's just, you know, right now I just went for a pretty standard uh, guideline on what to look for in slides. And it, once it gets the result back, renders it in the sidebar of slides, and you know, hopefully it is useful information. Okay, so next question. If I want to extend Slide Advisor, how do I actually go do that? So the, the code is uh, going to be on the GitHub, and really the place I would start for anyone who wants to play around with this is look at the prompting. Right? That's the, the thing that really controls the behavior of, uh, the behavior of it the most. Um, so again, you know, the things I put in there were pretty basic guidelines about what to look for, but that might not be right for you or for your organization. So, you know, if you have your own standards about what makes a good slide or a good presentation or different rules you want to enforce, just changing the prompt text will go a long way in customizing it for your needs. Okay, so from what you've explained, you haven't really built a brand new AI model. You're just using an existing one. So does this really count as AI development? Oh, absolutely. I mean, yeah, sure. I'm not training my own model or anything like that or doing fine tuning, but it is applied AI, right? And it's putting that model to work in, a, I think, a really interesting way. And, you know, if, you know, if I take a step back and think about, okay, if I had to approach this problem just using traditional program programming techniques, like, I'm not even sure how I would do that. Uh, not saying it's impossible, but it, it's definitely in the, in the category of, of impractical and probably too hard to you know want me to want to go do it um but i think that you know that's kind of the reason why this is so interesting and you know especially for people like myself you know i've been programming for a long time i'm you know more fam familiar with traditional programming techniques um but this opens up so many new possibilities that i just wouldn't have even thought were possible before um, and you know this idea of being able to take some image and some text and just a description of the questions I want answered and have it work um, without really having to do a lot is, is just incredibly powerful, you know, and, you know, there's so many more use cases I want to explore with this and really happy to have done this and have a, a new tool that I can use for tackling problems. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for building the Slides Advisor and for telling us about it today. It's coding time. Let's look at how you can extend Slide Advisor's AI-powered review features. Don't worry about taking notes. There's a detailed tutorial linked in the description. Slides Advisor is a Google Apps Script project with a few components, including the main execution functions, user interface, code for getting the slide information, and the code for prompting the Gemini model. You'll need to set up access to the Gemini model and I'll cover that in detail in the written tutorial. This AIGS code file contains the review instructions that guide the AI model in evaluating the slide and providing feedback. You can modify how the Gemini model evaluates the slide by changing these instructions. For example, in the output, I'd like the score to be on the same line as the category heading, so let's change that. Show the score next to the category heading. I also think this category heading should be called message instead, so let's change that too. Further down, you can set some more parameters for how the model operates. This temperature value lets you set how much variation the model is allowed in its response. You can set this value higher to get more creative responses, but we'll just leave it at 0.1 for now. Once you've completed these changes, save the code file and then reload the Google Slides page to refresh the add-on. Now let's rerun the evaluation and check out the result. You can make these guidelines a lot more detailed as long as you don't exceed the size limit of the prompt. In general though, start simple and see what results you can get with the minimum amount of input. If you want to experiment with different prompts, Google AI Studio is a handy tool for prototyping apps with Gemini models. We used it to test the first versions of this project, so check that out. All right, let's wrap this up. 
And that's all the time I have to tell you about this AI-powered Slides Advisor project. Thanks to my guest, Stephen Vazel from the Google Workspace Developer Relations team. Links to the code project and a detailed tutorial on how to extend Slides Advisor are in the description. If you get some new functionality working, let us know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out the Google Workspace Developers YouTube channel for more information about building with Google Workspace. Link below. Thanks for watching. I really hope this video helps you build your own AI-powered presentation reviewer for your organization and helps you and your team be more effective communicators. So keep learning, keep building, make something great. We'll see you again soon.